Temporary closure of a Johnson County ice rink is causing quite a stir in the Kansas City skating and hockey communities. Jake Peterson tells us why now, Jake. Well, Mark, hockey coaches tell me that space is limited in the Kansas City area. They say there are five indoor rinks here, but the temporary closure of Pepsi Ice Midwest nearly cuts that number in half. The Kansas City Stars and its 350 players have always called Ice Midwest home, but now they play at other arenas. That's because two weeks ago, Ice Midwest went warm. A chiller blue, which uh, is part of the equipment that makes the ice freeze. Both ice sheets in the building are done for the rest of the season, which leaves Stars director Tom Tilly and his 60 teams in a bind. What we're doing in a lot of cases is we'll practice two teams on one sheet where you would know our team would normally have our own sheet for an entire hour. Andy says it's been a nightmare trying to find practice and tournament times during the middle of the season. It's really put, it's put a lot of pressure on all of the rinks around town to, to be uh, efficient with their ice. Because Tilly is competing for ice time with people like figure skating coach Karen Tornquist. She also used the ice at Ice Midwest. You can only allow so many figure skaters on a session. And so we see more of a crowded session. Tornquist and lost some business while trying to reschedule all of her skating sessions. She worries about the lack of ice in the Kansas City area. It is very scary because it is our livelihood. Um, it's my livelihood and it does make me very, very nervous having my own home. I have my own mortgage to pay. Managers at Ice Midwest say they're trying to determine what is wrong with the chiller and how much it will cost. But until then, these players and performers will be sharing the ice together. And managers at Ice Midwest say it'll take at least a month before they know when and if they'll reopen both sheets of ice. Jake Peterson, NBC Action News.